For ACUsports.com, I'm Grant Boone. We continue the preview of the 2013 Wildcat football season, and we're talking special teams today. We've got special teams coordinator Mark Roboto here, a man who wears many hats, including this one here. He's a linebacker's coach as well. And we've got Brent Schroeder from right here in Abilene, Deep Snapper. So, Brent, let's start with you. Uh, you have been around this program a long time. You're one of the guys I know that the coaching staff looks to because you're a program guy. What does it mean when, when the young guys come to you and say, uh, you know, what does it mean to be a Wildcat? Well, I mean, just uh, when I got here, Coach Thompson was, of course, head coach, and him and Coach Columns, they, um, I mean, they, they want to teach you how to be a man, you know, not only a good football player, but uh, teach you to be a man and a good husband and a good father. And, I mean, I think that it always carries on to the uh, football field when you're playing because um, the same traits you have as that you will have as a football player. So it goes further beyond the field than uh, just a football player. So You've grown accustomed to snapping to really only a couple of guys the last few years. Uh, now all of a sudden with Spencer Covey and Morgan Lineberry gone, uh, some new guys coming in. What have you seen uh, from these young guys, not just in terms of how they've kicked, but also just uh, in general? Right. Uh, well, we, of course, we have... Uh, uh, place kicker Nick Grau, he's, I mean, in practice he's made a lot of big kicks, a couple 60-something yard field goals, and then um, in punter we have Austin Coca-Cola and Ben Hines. Uh, I mean, none of these guys have played actually in a game, but in practice they're um, starting to step up, and um, it'll just be interesting to see how Saturday goes uh, in game action. What role do you feel like you play on the team? I mean, obviously you've got your hand on the ball first, uh, but but in terms of not just on the field but off the field as well with this particular unit. Well, um, you know, during practice, we I mean, as a specialist, you don't really do much, or you're not as involved in practice as everybody else. So um, it's good to stay focused. And Coach Roboto gives us drills to do every day, and so many snaps, and so many kicks to do. So just stay on task and make sure we're getting our work done um, by ourselves. All right, let's talk to your coach. Your, uh, Mark, your first season as a special teams coordinator last year was awfully impressive. I mean, you guys led the nation in punt return average. Uh, you were top 40 in really every meaningful category nationwide, including punt coverage, punt returns, kickoff coverage, kickoff returns. Uh, in general, uh, how did you feel like your team took to some of uh, what you were trying to teach? Well, they took to it great, but but really it was nothing. I it was nothing I did. What what happened is I I came into the program and I inherited Spencer Covey, Morgan Limeberry, Brent Schroeder, Jordan Lightfoot. You know, uh, great kickers. Great Taylor Gabriel. He's Darryl, not bad. Daryl Cantu Harkless. We had great returners, great kickers, great snappers. You almost, you almost can't mess it up, you know. You but but in terms trying. of, yes, but in terms of coverage, all modesty aside here, you guys didn't really allow explosive plays right. when you were covering kicks. Right. We, we did a great job because we, we had some good good cover people on there. Angel Lopez, uh, Lynn Grady at the beginning of the year, uh, Caleb Withrow, folks like that, Vicente Cantu, Harkless, uh, Thor Warner, people like that. Uh, Justin Stevens. So we, we, we had good people covering and we had great specialists. And, uh, you know, here at ACU, all, almost all the coaches are involved in specials. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I coach the punt team, it's me and six other coaches. Sure. So there are, there are literally two kids getting one on one coaching. Nobody is getting more than two players coached. So, so they get that one on one in the meetings, they get that one on one on the field. So uh, I think that goes a long way. Our whole, our whole staff's committed to it, Coach Collins is committed to it. Yeah. And, and with the kids buying in, and, and uh, that, that's what's really made the difference. You mentioned Lineberry and Covey. Uh, all you have there is, in those two guys are the all-time leading field goal kicker in ACU history, Lineberry, and you've got the guy in Covey who is the career leader, f over 40 yards career uh, punting average. So he, Brent mentioned the two new guys, Nick Grau. We have the punter, uh, Co Cullen, from, um, he's a fellow Middle Tennessean like I am from Clarksville, Tennessee, and then, and, and then Ben Hines as well. So what do you expect? What have you seen? And what do you expect to see from these young guys? Well, they're, they're young, so, you know, you, you just got to jump in and see. You know, uh, young guys aren't tested, so uh, you got to get them some game time reps to really see what you're going to get. Now, what we've seen out here is some booming kicks. Uh, Kill Cullen has a booming leg on punts. Uh, Nick Grau has a booming leg. So uh, once they put that all together, we're, we're going to be okay. Ben Hines can get a hold of the ball. Ben can do everything. Ben, ben kicks, punts, and does PAT field goals. So 
we've got a specialist on each side and then Ben that can do both. So once we get them some game time reps and they get into their rhythm and they start feeling good about things, I think we'll be we'll be a fairly decent football team. I know you can't completely simulate game situations, but you guys do a, a fun drill over here at the end of practice. Tell us about it. Well, we gather up the whole team and they, they make as much noise as they can and they scream at the kicker and they you know, hear whistles blowing. The coaches are blowing whistles and they're laying down and they're jumping up and down. The only rule we have is don't let don't yell anything negative. You you never want to yell a negative. At, at, at somebody that's going to win the game for you. So so they just yell and try and distract him, and then we snap it and see if he can get it through with a little bit of room. And he's done pretty well at it. Good. All right. Should be fun. And obviously special teams always a big part uh, of any team, and Coach Roboto is the leader of that unit. For Mark Roboto and for Brent Schroeder, I'm Grant Boone for ACUsports.com.